If you're like me and have an old car, you probably have some parts missing that are irreplaceable or very hard to find. In this video, I'm going to show you how I 3D printed and made my own part. Let's go inside and see what's missing. So taking a look around, you can see right there that the speed adjuster for the intermittent wiper is just gone. Like some things, like these locks and the T-roofs are just broken off, but I found them in the car and glued them back on. This is another case. I'm going to have to look at a picture online and then design something and print it out and hopefully make it look like it wasn't 3D printed. There are going to be multiple steps in order to do this. First, you'll need to find a picture to base your part off of. Then you'll need to design it in some sort of CAD software. After that, you'll need to print it out or whatever method of manufacturing you plan to use. Then, after that, you'll need to sand it down or paint it to make it look nice. And finally, you'll need to install it in the car. With that, let's get started and see what we can make. The first thing we need to do is find a picture to make our part off of. So I'll search up 1987 Nissan Pulsar dash, and then we'll see. And I think that's the right picture right there, what we're looking for. Yeah, that's it. That's the part we need to make. So I can just save that picture and then we can just base our thing off of that. So now we need to actually go to the car and take measurements. Then we can actually model it. Let's go do that next. And sorry if the camera's a little bit shaky because I have it on this tripod attached to the shifter. But I'll get my caliper and we'll measure out the side and we'll see how long it is. I think that's all we need in the car. Here's what I ended up coming up with for the part. You can see that I based it on this one, and I tried to copy the shape. Mine's a little bit different, but I think it's fairly close. So you can see it kind of comes out a bit wider, but I think it'll work. I'm going to print it in black, and then I'll fill this in with white paint. I've just finished printing it, so before I put any paint or anything, let's see if it fits. Could be a little wider, I'll see if I can widen it out a bit. I've gotten it widened out a little bit, if you can see, and I'll see if we can get it to fit on now. Oh, there we go. Got it on a little too tight. Yeah. That Looks pretty good. Get some paint on there, and that'll be a way better improvement. Now that we know it fits, we can actually paint the letters in. To do that, I'll be using this white model paint. We can let that dry for a little bit, then I'll come back to it, and we can remove the excess. I let the paint dry, and then off camera, I sanded the thing. So now I'll show how it looks. You can see it turned out pretty good. The paint looks a little bad in there, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And looking at it up close now, you can hardly even tell it was 3D printed, unless you look right there. As I polished it, well first I sanded it starting at 400 grit sandpaper, and then moved up to 800. Then I took some Brasso to it and polished it. And you can't even see the layer lines in it anymore. Sorry about my gross looking fingers. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. Let's go put it in and see how it looks now. Here's what we ended up with. Doesn't even really look like a 3D printed part. 
kind of just looks like this, like shiny plasticky stuff that's on top of here. It's got that same kind of look. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So yeah, that's how you make a 3D printed car part. Or, it doesn't have to be for a car, it can really be for anything. And that's just what I needed. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing.